What is up guys? So we've had GTA Online for almost a week now. Uh, well, it should have been almost a week, but without all the problems, it's more or less been about five days. But um, we've all kind of had a chance to dabble around with it now. And in my opinion, I honestly do believe that this hasn't really lived up to the hype of what I expected. Um, and I could consider it a bit of a flop. Now, I'm going to give a quick shout out to uh, Broken Games HD. Um, he did a video on this and also the Gamer 2323, both doing videos on what their expectations of GTA Online were and whether it was considered a flop. And BG said he has no desire to kind of play GTA due to the technical problems it had for the first two days. And I feel the exact same way. Um, I was really, really looking forward to GTA Online. I was thinking a great way to play GTA Online with my friends, doing some, causing online carnage, doing some heists and stuff, which, um, granted, not all of the features are fully available for GTA Online yet. There's still a lot more to come with the heists and all that. But I do agree with the fact that I have no urge to play it. I honestly... I, I don't feel like I want to play it. I'll, I'll go on GTA and I'll play the single player and I, I won't get bored and I'll just keep playing the single player and then every time I try and play online I either get the timed out error and it returns me to the single player or it's really buggy it's the, honestly the most glitchiest thing I've ever seen I played a little bit yesterday um, and I was walking around as my character the whole city was just popping in um, beside me all the build, buildings were just popping in and the graph like the the game was trying to catch up with me and it was really really annoying to see that, um, especially with with all the problems supposed to be resolved by now, those they released the patch and everything, so I'm still getting major problems. Um, the character design, I I meant to do a video about this, honestly, because BG another a video that BG did. Um, the character customization or creating your character on GTA Online has to be the worst character creation I've ever seen in a game. The, whoever thought of the idea of choosing grandparents what they what they look like out of a set amount of people you don't actually design what they look like you have to choose out of a set amount of people then choose what your parents look like and then that base that gives you a base model of what your character looks like that was horrible I'm sorry that was absolutely horrendous um, it didn't work it makes all of your characters look like they're like a smackhead they look an absolute proper skinny the graphics are awful, their skin's really tight back. Um, if you're subscribed to KSI as well, he did a funny video the other day where he was, he, he thought his character was a man. And then the more he played it, he realised he went to the barbers to go and get a haircut and all of the haircuts were women and you could actually put makeup on. So he didn't even realise that he had picked a woman as his character when he obviously wanted to be a man. So that shows how strange these characters look on the customization so that is another down point I really feel like they let themselves down on that with the amount of um, kind of customization you can do in the games nowadays I, nowadays I really did feel let down by that character creation on GTA Online it would have been good if they just gave us like a, a WWE style creation where you actually have to spend a lot of time creating this character kind of manipulating each of their um, facial features and everything like that, their eye shape, their nose shape, their their head shape, all that sort of thing. So you've got a big, long, kind of, you can actually get involved in it, not just pick your grandparents, pick your parents, boom, there's your character. It was terrible. Um, and I, I, I just feel like we were a little bit let down by the whole GTA Online. Obviously we had that trailer that really built everyone's hype up. But to be honest, what you see in that trailer no one's going to play like that in real life. You don't get that in real life. What you get is a load of 12, 13 year old kids shooting you, running you over, not get, not giving you a chance to get back up because you're just getting run over and run over. No one's going to work together as a team unless you actually get a group of friends together and do this because people don't play like that nowadays. It's, it's just the way it is. But I, I, I just wanted to make this video talking about GTA Online because there was such a big expectation of it, such big hype surrounding it, and then when it launched, it literally just exploded um, with the, all the technical difficulties. And like BG said, I think the technical difficulties really did suck it out of people because we were expecting to play it October 1st, everyone was ready, 
and then come October 3rd we're still having technical problems some people still can't get on um, and a lot of people have had the chance to really level up their characters and get used to it while others have really not had the chance at all because of all these bugs so it really is kind of kind of unfair advantage for a lot of people and it was the whole thing was a big mess really so I'm still hoping it picks up I, I do still have high hopes for it but Honestly, I, I can't see myself playing it. Well, once Beyond Two Souls comes out and once Batman Arkham Origins comes out, I'm not going to be playing GTA. I know I'm not. I'll have the single player done by then. Um, and I can't see my honestly can't see myself picking up GTA Online. Judging by what I've played so far, um, I can't see that. I'll pick it up and play it with a few friends sometimes, but I won't be able to, I won't have the urge to sit down and play it on my own as a single player. I will only play it if my friends are playing online with me. Um, that's just the way it is. I, I I felt the same with Red Dead Redemption. I only really played that with my friends online. Same with GTA 4. And I can see this being the same way. I, I just don't think open world games work in the same way as some of the competitive online multiplayer games. I don't I don't think there's a much too much depth. I know there's only I think it's 16 player lobbies on GTA with such a massive open world. I just don't think it works. Um, but who knows? I, I really hope I'm wrong because I want I want this to do well. But judging by what I've seen so far, it's not for me. Um, so I'll give it a go once all the new stuff comes out, like the heists and things you can do with your friends. But honestly, I'm I'm let down by GTA Online. So leave your thoughts down below on what you think of GTA Online. If you having a, if you're enjoying it, tell me if you're having a good time on it, or if you like myself are getting annoyed with all the technical hiccups and the bugs and just we're a little bit let down by it so yeah leave your comments down below guys i look forward to seeing what you think of it um and that's about it for the video so thank you for watching and i'll see you on my next one